All right, let's keep those sweet vibes going. Our first guest is making memories that will last a lifetime. She's a 12-year-old who likes school, playing tennis, art, and winning national baking championships. Yes, doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> I love Smithhurst, who is the reigning winner of the Kids Baking Championship on the Food Network. Yay! Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. What was it like when you won? It was really crazy, just especially the way I started the show. You know, I really struggled to get all the way to the finale. So I think when they called my name that I won, it was just a moment of like, me, like wow. I won, like I beat all those other incredible kids. Oh. Like that just seems so surreal yeah. to me. Yeah, and you worked so hard, right? Yes. I'm sure it was challenging. What was the biggest challenge, would you say, along the way? I mean, I feel like episode one was, I mean, you can't beat that, you know, you're in a new kitchen mm -hmm. and you don't know where anything is. And then, you know, there's all this pressure of like, you know, you meet Duff and Val and you go to this new kitchen and then all of a sudden they're like, go make a cake. And you're like, wait, what? The pressure, <laughs> the pressure, right? Yes. So how did you start baking? I mean, I've really just always loved being in the kitchen. Um, my mom and my Nana would always, you know, we would always bake at like the beach at family reunions and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just sort of always been a part of my life just being in the kitchen. So I started off with like box cake mixes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then as I kind of got more advanced, it got to where I started trying harder stuff and trying to do different things. So eventually just got to where I got so good, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this out. Yeah. So now you look at a box cake and you go, eh, kid stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Always uh, experimenting, right? I'm sure. Yes. yes. Interesting um, charity that you yes. help support, right? Yes, the V Foundation. So I picked the V Foundation because on the nights when we were filming the show when I really struggled that day and I was like, oh man, you know, like, no bueno, like that was not good. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, my dad would send me videos of Coach Valvano giving like, um, what's the motivational, like mm -hmm. motivational speeches. The former North Carolina coach. Yes, yeah. wow. and it would, you know, just sort of encourage me to be like, okay, like I can still do this, I'm not out yet. So I picked the V Foundation because of that and also because my mom and a couple other family members are cancer survivors. So I was just like, you know what, that's the perfect charity to pick. Well, wow. we are going to taste yes. the winning baked goods. Oh, you're not gonna believe this so one. Yep, we are gonna make our version of it, smaller version of that, coming up with the Kids Baking Champion. And Welcome back to SA Live. We're chatting with Lila Smethers, the winner of the last season's Kids Baking Championship. And right now, she's going to make an SA Live version of the dish that won her the grand prize right there. Look at that. What is that wow. called, Lila? Um, I don't have a name for it, but it's really just like a polar volcano cake wow. that because that's the biome that I got for, you know, there was rainforest and there was okay. tropical mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I got polar. So that's my take on a polar volcano. And we're going to do a mini version of it. And we yes. start off with your uh, chocolate cake recipe. Yes. And you have this neat little uh, corer here. Yes. That you do a little hole in there. Yep. What's the secret to your chocolate cake that you Sour were telling us? Sour cream. <gasps> makes Do that, everybody? Yes, Sour cream. I know. It's kind of a weird ingredient, but it makes the cake not too dry, and it really just tastes delicious, so. <laughs> it almost adds that. a little denseness to it, but that. still yeah. keeping that moistness yes. to it, so. Okay, okay. then what do we put in these? So you yes. layered that already. Okay, mm -hmm. so the bottom gets a little bit of caramel, like okay. a third of the way full with caramel, and then this is Nutella pastry cream, so mm -hmm. you just feel that all the way up. Okay. It's delicious. The judge said it was like chocolate pudding, mm. so. What made you think of this recipe? Um, I really just, when I got polar, I was thinking, hmm, you know, like I have to tie the flavors of the cake in with it being polar. So I was like, oh, well, I would want to do something that would keep me warm when I'm cold in the Arctic. So oh, I was cute. like, I what about like that. a take on like salted caramel hot chocolate? Oh. So I was like, oh, I can sort of fancy this up with the Nutella and all sorts of different stuff on top. Okay, so. I love how you went from so this to this to this to this <laughs> this so to that. Yes. What a great idea. Okay, how am I doing? Not as good as you. Perfect. <laughs> and then on top oh, yeah. of that. On top? Yes, a swirl of salt. This is salted caramel buttercream right. that I have oh, different okay. colors. And so. people can order desserts from you, right? Yes. Yes, what's the name Just of your bakery? Nice it's lob. called Lila's Butterbomb Bakery. I love it. And so I have cute. a website and a Facebook and an Instagram. So you can just message the website oh. if <laughs> <laughs> inquiring Come. about an order. And, and obviously her versions are right there. <laughs> Very beautiful. 
And tell us about the toppings that you have there. Yes, okay, so I have some chocolate whale tails because I feel like when you're in the Arctic, you see mm -hmm. the whales. On the show, I had penguins, but I figured it's a cupcake, so I might not be able to fit all of that. Mm -hmm. So we have the whale tails, and then I made sugar glass. It's mm -hmm. like you cook the sugar with corn syrup and different stuff until it gets to where it kind of cracks. Okay. And then you just put that on the top, and it looks like the fire coming out of the top of the volcano. That's so oh, wow. creative. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the creative, not to mention uh -oh. the baking the skills, but the creativity <laughs> is just amazing. Folks can order dessert from you, right? Yes. So how can they order? What's the best way? You said they can inquire, right, on your website? Yes, yes. on my website. Okay. You just, I think it's the contact us. You just click that, and then you can send an email, and we'll give you information based on like pricing and how much, stuff like that. Mm. <laughs> and, okay, what is your favorite thing to bake? Mm, it kind of depends on the season and sort okay. of what fruits are. <laughs> yeah, so this and season, are you laughing at Mike? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are good. Yeah. <laughs> He's enjoying that. So, for instance, she went into the fridge. Yes. Oh yeah. And you so found pie. what? Four different yes. berries. Yep. Strawberry, blueberry, mm -hmm. raspberry, and blackberry. And made a pie out of it. Yes. Just sort of whatever fruits in season. Just sort of really whatever we feel like that day. If we feel like fruit, I'll make something with fruit. If we feel like chocolate, I'll make something with chocolate. That's the right way to do it. I know. It's be wonderful <laughs> having her in the house. I know. Let me just I know, whip this up here, so. And the well, whole family. Okay. Let's talk about the foundation one more time. The yes. fundraiser. Um, you go to, well, it's on my website. You hit it. It's at the front. You can click mm -hmm. on the link. And how it works is you'll donate, and then um, it all goes towards cancer research. And then we'll pick, we'll draw one random winner at the end, mm -hmm. and they will get to do like a baking experience with me. How Wonderful. Cool. That's a fantastic thing. If you'd like more information on Lila Smethurst and Kids Baking Championship, again, congratulations. Yes. And Thank the you. foundation that she's helping out, go to salab.com. Or snap that QR code right there on your screen. Thank you so much, dear. Thank yes. you. Thank you, and congratulations. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.